Welcome back to Cactus Core Plays Hat in Time. My name's Kevondre. My name is Bobby. Last time we sold our soul to Satan. It was great. Yeah, and we murdered some uh, foxes. Yep, and we got our little freeze hat so we can uh, pound the ground. Yes, I am one icy girl. Yeah, look at that. Um, so, so majestic. Pretty exciting times, and now it's time to go back and we'll do some more uh, Satan stuff. Yeah, maybe we do Luigi's Mansion. You don't know. Queen Vanessa's Manor. Bum bum bum! Fuck that. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be great. That looks spoopy. It always kind of fucks up when loading. And that's no good. It might just be because we're recording on top of everything else. You're recording. Okay. So what you're saying is I need a second graphics card. Uh, no. Oh. Is your motherboard SLI crossfire ready? I think so. Well then, yeah, fuck it, get another one. Oh, okay, let me just do that. Yeah. I'm Alexa, talking to I'm you not talking to you! Echo. To learn more about what? Me, just ask, what can you do? Look, this isn't your series right now. you got to wait a few more weeks, okay? Yeah, you're Mass Effect 3, bitch. Calm Jesus down. Christ. At least she's not just randomly laughing at us. Yeah, that'd be weird. What am I even doing? Uh, you're going to Queen Vanessa's Manor? Yes. She is a Yas Queen. Oh, hey, this is where I was before. Okay. So at least the worlds are connected. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That is pretty neat. What's this? What's this? Are they dabbing? Oh, it's oh. Weeping Angels. Don't worry about it. Oh, I don't care for this already. Yeah, see? Oh, you oh. you can't look directly at her face and blink, and then she gets a little closer to you. But she's not getting closer to you. Oh, she is. Manor is this way. Oh, thanks. This is a bad bridge. Yeah, it... It doesn't do its bridgey job well. Oh shit. What's this? Oh, okay. Young Town again. You should have known that. Oh, wait. It's here. What's up, Luke? I was kind of expecting a new victim to step in my traps. I've already taken your soul and everything. Have you even completed your contractual obligations yet? Don't take it personal, kid. But stay clear of my traps. There's only so many times my voice can handle yelling like that. You're taking the experience away from other people. Fair enough. Uh, but since you did step in my trap, I might as well extend our business endeavors. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 oh, it's like the fucking uh, traps from Paper Mario 2. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Fucking Luke having a lot of fun with this. Yeah. Make it, boys. Which burden do you want to carry for the rest of your life? Oh, hey, okay. Soul escaped into this outhouse. Whoops. No. I don't want to deliver shit. I'll take Toilet of Doom. Yeah. That's just how we do. Yeah. Thanks, Gary Oak. Yeah. I fully believe that they were thinking of Gary Oak when they wrote that line. Yeah, almost surely. Why is it snowing over here but not in the other forest? Across the bridge. Here's an idea. Shut the fuck up. Man, you don't know. This way. Which way? That way? Yeah. Ding dong. What the fuck? Uh-huh, I see. But there's no blue. Hit it again. But this is just for the green ones, right? Yeah, the blue's up there. There's no blue. Oh no, butthole blue. Alright, well fuck it. I can't escape! I'm trapped here forever now. 
Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, what? Oh, I have to be outside of the green to get to the blue. This makes some sense. Sure. I understood it. That means it makes sense. Yeet! Uh huh. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I got it. Alright. <laughs> Yeet! Okay. I'm kind of digging this vibe. Yeah, it's pretty lit. Whoa. Can I go in here? Oh, it's ice skating. Oh, no, no, not even ice physics. Which we appreciate. There are sometimes I love ice physics, most of the time I don't. Oh, shit. Those bitches be weeping. I have an ominous feeling. I got a feeling. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit! Why? Get the fuck out of here! Fuck this bitch! This is Russia! No. I don't I don't care for that. I did not uh, I did not like that. Oh. Well, that was that was kind of funny. Oh Jesus Christ. I am spooked. So yeah, they don't like you going in the front door. Yeah. So this kids go around back. Oh, around the back side? Around the back side? Why can't I attack? Did my umbrella go away? Maybe? Because it's indoors. Boss told me to remind you that you signed that paper about not using your hands while well the man. Did I? Yeah, don't use them. Thanks. Okay. That includes my umbrella, though. Yeah, apparently. What's up with that? Give me that yarn. Why does she need this flooded dungeon? Look, if you have a manor, I just assume you have a flooded dungeon. Do you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, that was creepy as shit. Uh, yeah, I don't care for this. I And I've seen enough uh, spooky platforming levels to not want to deal with this piano. Should I not trust this light? Okay, it's fine. A keyblade? Excellent. Oh no. Oh yes, piano. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Piano. Side by side on my piano. What? What? Okay. I should hide. I... I don't like this. What the fuck happened to my cute platformer? They lady, fixed it. Lady, ladybug. Oh.
Oh, shit. Checkpoint. Okay. Better run, bitch. An old ruined diary. A lot of the pages have been torn out. Turn to one that's left? Page 13. Why? What have I done wrong? In his letters, he talks about her. A tutor, he says. Or, a tutor. He says he loves me, but she sees him. I get letters, and she gets his time. He is mine. Once his studies are finished, I will have him back. Okay. Dear diary, today my prince left to begin his studies. He will be so... Mother had a bit of an accident last week, so today I got crowned as queen. Now the prince can't call me his princess. Life isn't fair. Oh, that's what you're upset about? Jesus. My, my dearest... Oh, yeah, go ahead. My dearest Vanessa, it has been many days since I saw you last, but it feels like months. My time at the academy is hard, but I am progressing quickly. There is so much to study when it comes to law, but the library here is well stocked. Our tutors are the finest in the land, and I am thankful for their help. I've been attending private study with one, an experienced practitioner of law by the name of Lady... This letter is ruined and torn! My prince enjoys his breakfast far too much. I'm jealous of that darn bacon. He loves it. No more bacon in this house! Yeah, that's not weird. Oh, I wish I could just keep him always, locked up and in chains and in the cellar. But you can't chain a man, can you? Well... <laughs> you can. Depends on what he's into. Oh, that's probably not good. It looks like if you turn into an ice statue, you might be okay. But I can't do that. I was told not to use my powers, remember? I'm sorry about your hair, my prince. I just wanted our lengths to match and color and curl. You look wonderful. Yeah, this is terrifying. Rift token. Oh, I can get cute rewards? Well, of course I'm gonna do that then. Sorry, Mafia Man. Oh! Go <laughs> He's about to die. You think so? I think so. But I am one hidden boy. Girl. Whatever. That balloon isn't. Looks like she didn't come in here. How am I supposed to get that? Oh, the balloon. Christ, man! Okay, whoever designed this level is awesome. Like, I can't even see her. I don't know what she looks like. Other than just, like, a horror from my nightmares. Can I just get it? Can I just... Can I just get it? No? You probably gotta get another red balloon. Holding on to white balloons. Oh, did I look in the closet? Jesus. 
Yeah, you just can't get up there. So you think I need another balloon? Mm -hmm. Is that a picture of me? <laughs> Not quite. Fuck. It's just not. Oh my god, what the fuck? Where did the other balloon go? I don't know. What? Checkpoint, that's something. Oh shit. To get your buddy. In yeah, he was in there. What's out here? My prince has gone. She's in the shower? Jesus, titty fucking Christ. Okay. I, damn, I like this game. <laughs> Step one, find a place to hide. Place to hide, got it. Uh, I mean, what is that, just like a chest? What am I supposed to be doing here? Good question, don't know. He told me I was supposed to do something here. Find out what's in the attic. Well, I'm in the attic. Alright. Oh, hey! And that's it, and then we left the level. Yes. Peace, love, dope, no, get the fuck out. Look, don't worry about it. Yes! Please? Yes! <laughs> I... Wow, that episode was really... Fuck that! That little thing with... That was great! Jesus! And they didn't make it so long that it became... Intolerable. Yeah. But, all the same... Like, I would have thought this is like a kid's game. But, uh... If I had played that level as a kid... Holy shit! People think they're scarred from that fucking piano. Piano. Yeah. Piano. Shoutouts to Paul McCartney. Yeah. Who is dead. No, he's not. Died in 1964 no, in he a did not. car accident. He's still around. John showed up, saw that his teeth went through his uh, lip, and he's like, he looks like a walrus. And he's like, no, I'm the walrus. And then they couldn't allow him to do that thing. Absolutely not. Look, man. It's a true story. Uh, look, I, you I, sprinkled in maybe some true little tidbits, but he didn't die. Oh, he did. Oh, he was just in a coma this whole time. No. And no, they had to wasn't. replace him with uh, this guy who won the contest. No, not even a little. Who looked like him. Everything is true. Sergeant Pepper uh, CD cover? Definitely a funeral. Why would it be a funeral? Because Paul's dead. No other reason for it to be a funeral. What's in here? Horror? Okay. He says shit like this. And I know he doesn't actually believe it. Most of them. Most of them. Some of them he does, and it bothers me. Like, honestly, the Paul one, I wouldn't at all be surprised to learn if it was true. That doesn't mean that I necessarily think that it's true. But if Paul McCartney, quote-unquote, dies today, and had... Don't do that, Paul. Don't, don't, don't die. We've already had a shitty month. Um, 
If he dies today and in his will, he's like, hey, turns out, not actually Paul McCartney. I'd be like, Arrgh! and he guys the whole story and it's all a thing and everyone's like, holy shit. And then conspiracy theorists would not let up for the rest of their lives. No, no, they wouldn't. It would be great. And I would love that because you'd be like, son of a bitch. But that's not what's going to happen. And then the jet fuel uh, falls on the steel beams and the steel beams don't melt. So then you're like, oh fuck, chemistry is broken now too. Because of that kilogram shit. No, god god damn it. Okay. uh, They changed the kilograms so the jet fuel can no longer melt the steel beams. But before it could... No? Okay. You're the one who wanted me to do conspiracy stuff this episode. You said... And I said I'd be angry with you about it. Because you're fucking dumb. Paul McCartney is still the same Paul McCartney. As 1965, you're right. Uh, but And before that. Uh, I don't uh, know since, about that since his birth, it's been the same Paul McCartney. <laughs> okay. Okay. Glad we're, glad we're good about that. I don't agree. I've explained the steel beams things to you. And how some people went on the news and like, Oh, it melted the steel beams. That's not what happened. It weakened them. And that allowed it to help collapse. Because that's how crystalline structures in iron works. Anyways, uh, and then finally, the kilogram thing changing is pretty damn cool. So you can just shut the fuck up about I that. I didn't say it wasn't. It's awesome. Stop trying to use that to support your dumbness. Dumbness. Fuck Whoa. you. For those of you that don't know, uh, we recently changed the definition of a kilogram. So before, there's actually this uh, little bitty rod, uh, most of the platinum, I think, that's in France called Le Grand K. And that is the definition of a kilogram, or at least it was, to where pretty much if there was an extra smudge added onto that thing, that smudge changed how much a kilogram weighed. Or if a little bit got, like, rubbed off in something just from handling and all that, that reduced the amount that the actual kilogram weighed. That's not great. You need it set on, like, a physical constant base, like, on the universe, something that a lab could replicate no matter where they are, and it's going to be the same everywhere. So we recently changed it based on the uh, Planck constant, which is really cool. And you can Google kilogram changing, and there's a whole bunch of stuff on it. And it's something that I've known we've been trying about for about the past 10 years. And I'm really excited it finally happened. It got approved yesterday as of this recording. Yeah, which is like a few weeks ago. Yeah, a few weeks ago. Sorry we missed telling you Happy Thanksgiving. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Also... Fuck you. Yeah. What's up, kiddo? You don't know where to go. You're supposed to be cleaning the well, kid. It's deep inside the swamp, but it's big enough even a tiny thing like you can't miss it. Try not to trip and hit your head at the bottom. <laughs> I can see Mark Hamill having a lot of fun with this role, too. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. I wonder if uh, Youngtown does a lot of uh, voice acting. I don't think he does. Probably. He's got hey. a good voice for it. Have you come to make another purchase? Of course. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. I don't have nearly enough. Fuck this noise. Yeah, you need to be able to uh, Kamehameha, bitch. Kamehame bitch. Kamehameho. Ah! Kamehameho? Yeah. It's a special beam attack that turns a chick into a hoe. Or a dude into a hoe. We don't judge. Am I yeah. uh, playing Frogger here? Everybody can be a hoe. And you know what? Good for you. Everybody's got something to hoe except for me and my monkey. Yeah, this is very psycho Nazi. Yeah. Don't, don't hop in the water, man. I know, right? I'll drown to death because water demon. Yeah, because gypsy curse. Yeah. Which is funny, because their last name is Aquato. Yeah. Rasputin Aquato. Uh, yes, it, this game reminds me very much of Psychonauts. And it's funny, because, you know, I have, have gypsy ancestry, and my last name is Best. And I'm not the best at any damn thing, so... Man, uh-huh. you were just talking about how you didn't want anybody to find you, and then now you're going to just give out your whole fucking yeah, name. Yeah, don't give a shit. Come find me, bitch. Uh, okay, so our address is... <laughs> Alright. 
Now we got like Left 4 Dead 2 music going on here. Yeah, we've been saying we're in California this whole time. Turns out we're in Arkansas. Fuck you. Yeah, we fucking bailed. Cause yeah. fire. <laughs> yeah, cause the state's on fire. It's been horrible. Man, there was like, uh, so much fucking smoke. Like, we're not in the, in the path of fire right now, but the Sacramento area was, is a valley, right? So we just, uh, got a lot of fucking smoke. Aside from the horribleness of so many people losing their homes and dying and yeah. shit, yeah. That's not important. Let's talk about how it inconveniences us personally. Exactly. Right. It's the American way. Our work, Dicks! One thing our work has been doing is a lot of stuff to uh, help donate to them, and I think that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool, too. Um, we haven't said this on the channel yet, but uh, Miskit passed away a week ago. Yeah. Um, and it's very, very, very sad. But I, I uh, donated all of her wet food uh, to the people in the affected by the fire. Because um, we like animals more than actual people. Yeah. And Mr. Cat will turn his nose up at wet food, so... Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. He only likes uh, dry cat food and lemon heads. You would figure as fat as fuck as he is, and he's a fat fucking cat. He is very fat. That he wouldn't be as picky as he is, but now he's, he's one picky bitch. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty picky, and I'm not exactly a spring chicken. I'm not that picky, and... He is a spring chicken. Yeah. Very delicious. I eat him every night. Don't get me wrong, I have gained a little bit of weight since I came out here. I don't think I'd want to run a mile anymore, but I could. I can't reach that, huh? Probably not. The thing implied that I would have some sort of grapple hook, but I don't have a grapple hook. Go for it. Cox.net. Oh. I hate cocks.net. So far, it's just a bunch of angry lesbians and one intern. <laughs> Scrubs had some really funny moments. I don't think it'd be a good show to like watch straight up. A lot of people do. See, I've known many people who just binge it all the time. See, I disagree, but it makes for excellent background noise. Like, if I'm working on a project, or sharpening knives especially, because that takes fucking forever sometimes, uh, I like to have background noise on. My default is usually Futurama, Family Guy, some of those cartoons that were funny. But, uh, yeah, Scrubs would be a good one. What am I supposed to be doing, man? Go he says place. it's in the swamp, but I can't... I need, like, a grappling hook or something. Get out of my swamp! All right. Yeah. Which see, way? That like, way? Yeah. What are you doing in my swamp? Nope. Donkey. You're a donkey. Donkey. Turns out a uh, Gordon Ramsay is Shrek. Makes for one hell of a plot twist. Yeah. Okay. Now what do you do? Oh. Drown and die. Apparently. Is there another bell I'm supposed to ring? Or am I just supposed to speed run this bitch? Oh shit. Yeah, I don't see another bell. Did you see one? No. Smack it again. Oh, keep smacking them. Keep smacking them what? The bell. How am I supposed to keep smacking the bell? Go it's back. way over there. Look, go back to the bell. I'm okay. All right, smack him a few times. Smack him again. Oh, I see what you mean. Cox. All right. There we go. Here we go, here we go, satellite radio. Come on, get hit with the boom, boom. Nope. They don't work out. Hmm. Then I do not know. What a little bitch. Uh. Can you eat magic again? Maybe.
I can, but I won't be able to reach it from there. Can you drive your scooter across the swamp? Maybe. Make That's an idea. In, make it in time? Oh, uh, fucking no. It okay. is a poor choice. Fuck shitty cock and fucking shitty garbage. Can you freeze him? Can I freeze him? Yeah. No. Shit. Look, I think that my fate is just to be really bad at this game. Can I go up here? No. This is like straight up Left 4 Dead 2 music almost. Very similar. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to do here. Where's your phone? In your butt. We need a walkthrough for this uh, children's platforming game. Yeah, shut the fuck up. But we have a title song. It says we're not good at games. We have a title song that we haven't used whatsoever. Yeah, but we got one. I wrote it myself. So that let's, way, let's actually do something with that at some point. So that way, there's no copyright claims. It's mine. True. Two hours later. God damn it. Okay, go. Yeah, I'd love to get there. Oh, okay, we living. Jesus. I mean, come on. You saw the apple. Apple. Oh, yeah, okay. I see you. I see you. I feel you. I'm part of living this life. Can I smack with the apple? Oh, good. <laughs> Where exactly would it be bad for this to go? Let me yeet it over there. Yeah. I've been known to yeet. What the fuck? I I I understand. I heard you. Don't be a dick. Yay! Another ball of yarn. Um. No, I'm not. Where I, I assume something with the skeleton. Maybe not. You know what happens when you assume. It, uh, it don't work out. Yeah, especially when it comes to skeletons. Yeah, that is oddly true, I suppose. Where am I supposed to go? And see what changes. Nothing. Oh wait. Is that frozen? Yeah. Ho -ho. Oh, it is not. Good. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. What's up the tree? Can I climb this? I don't know. Smack it and look up. Yeah, well, you know, if I could. Dogs can't look up. No, it's pigs that can't look up. <sighs> what a surprise. We, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. If you're shocked at that, then you haven't watched us before. Yeah. Maybe I'm supposed to scoop? I cannot scoot. And I'm gonna die. That's right, bitch! Ho oh ho! Get dunked on. Yeah. 
Well, it looks like the only way you got is going back. Yeah, I guess I'll do that then. Yeah, okay. Which way? There's just a big skeleton over there, and that's it. I don't know. Smack that guy again. Not him, the other guy. Now look to your right. Like, there is that wooden thing over there. Okay, so something weird with the skeleton. Apparently, it's just the wrong fucking way. Yeah. Thanks, game. The skeleton? Yeah. That's not a bell. That's a light. You fucking idiot. From other come into focus. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. Yarn, man. Totes. I appreciate a good yarn. Oh, hey, nice. look, some health. What? Yes, I could use that. Now, where are you going? Up here. You know what I mean? Sure. I see it now. I'll pretend like I've always seen it. Yeah, that's the American way. We've already been over this. Yeah. Toxic masculinity. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that's the swear word of the day. Toxic masculinity. Jenny Cox! I like that one better. I mean, they essentially mean the same thing. Yeah. Alright, look how good I am at this game. Right into the well. Fuck yeah. Well, well, well. What have we here? Hat in time, huh? Ooh, I'm really scared. I was last time. Yeah, last episode. Well, that was actually this episode, but... Uh, oh yeah, it was. <laughs> that was, uh, very spoop. I don't like you, Spider-Man. Fuck him up. Spider-Man! Let's see how you get out. No, he's probably just being a dick. <laughs> Sparkle times. Alright. Fuck this bitch. This is Rusha. Nope. Alright. Rope. Yeah, would, how do you grapple onto shit? I would like a grappling... Grapple. Maybe this way. Thank you. Yay! Eventually you'll become whole again. No, oh, okay. Arr! We Zelda now. I need a gentleman who will uh, light my uh, soul ablaze. Oh, there he is. Yeet. Grappling hook? Hook shot. Hey, hey, we still Zelda. So yes, you finally get a grappling hook. We are proud. Grappling hook! Shout out to Gravity Falls. Uh, yep, alright. Badges. So how do I do it? Change your badges. I, it's equipped. I saw it. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh my. This is fun. 
Bam! Got him. First try. Yeah. 360 no scope. That's me. Yeah. Cocker spaniel fucking shitty dick. Oh yeah? <laughs> Sometimes you just get stuck and that's okay. Yeah, bitch! That's right. Look how fucking good I am at this game. Hooray! How many yarns do I have? Like five. Good call. So we'll probably have to go back to Bird Place and get more yarn. Yeah, so I will go back to Bird Place. One day. Alright, so now I can do the thing with yeah. this gentleman. You can be a hooker over here. Yes, I every day I'm hooking. Whee. Bump, 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 more. Dick! Holy shit, it's filling up with water. Stop trying to drown me, asshole. I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy too. I'm trying to drown you. Rude. I'm just trying to do my job. Right? My name, For my name is Swiper. I swipe things. You are a cock! Mongling bitch spider. Cock mongling bitch spider is uh, my band name from uh, high school. Oh yeah? yeah? I don't think it is. Oh shit. Should be. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a good one. I'd, I'd come to see a play just to figure out what the fuck that's all about. Would you? You'd no. come to see a play? Come to see you play. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. Cockmongling uh, Bitch Spider is also the name of my my uh, Broadway production. Oh, it's yeah. starring uh, Lynn Manuel uh, Cardoza. That's a name, right? Probably. I'm dead now. Lynn Manuel Miranda writes. Yes, you have the right to uh, rap. Yeah, home skillet. You have the right to not throw away your shot. Yes, you have the right to a duel in New Jersey. Yeah, maybe you don't want to do that one, but yeah, it's not a great plan. Yay! Look at that. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Shout outs to uh, days of our lives. And Bill and Ted. The confirmed uh, best soap opera. Okay, Bold and the Beautiful is also great because it's horrible. Bold and the Beautiful is the venom of uh, soap operas. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Dude, it's really bad. I don't know the first thing about soap operas. I now pronounce you man and horse? Yeah, okay. I get it. You want me to go back there? That's fine. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. We yeah. had some very spoopy times. Then we got a uh, dope-ass uh, hookshot. Yeah. We met, uh, well. Yeah. We uh, got lost on the way to the well. We met a giant uh, skeleton. Yeah, yeah, there was a skeleton for some reason. Yeah, who didn't do jack shit. Maybe he'll great. be the boss of this one? I don't know. Probably Satan, actually. But... Yeah, probably Satan. You're Satan. Thanks, Satan. Yeah. Anyway, let's do some shoutouts, son. Okay. Uh, so, a game that came out this week that I've been playing. Uh, I've actually been playing a few games this week that came out. But one of them is uh, more in line with how this game is. So, I'm going to do a shoutout to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, specifically. I don't. I didn't get the Pikachu one. Um, and I, uh, yeah. It's I, the correct choice. At first, I thought that I was not going to like it. And when I first turned it on, I was not a fan because the Pro Controller is not used. Uh, and I was forced to use a single Joy-Con held like a shit dick. But then I realized that the game is way better in handheld mode. Because you can use both Joy-Cons then. And you don't have to use fucking yeeting physics. It's just gyro controls for the Pokemon catching. And it's way better. Still, they should, you know, offer that with Pro Controller stuff. 
And I hope that one day they patch that in, but I doubt they will. Yeah. But anyway, like I've been playing it a lot and I actually kind of really like it. So shout outs to Pokemon Let's Go and Eevee specifically. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Eevee is the correct choice, unless you're like very brand new and you want to see what the hype is Pikachu is all about. Because yeah. Eevee is fucking adorable. He is very adorable. I named him Scoot. Yes. Um, he high fives me with his tail, and that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's and you can pet them, and he makes the cutest little noises. It's it's great. Once you go to Cerulean City too, uh, you meet this dude who gives him moves that are just OP as shit. Nice. So I'm just like, wow. All right. Shout out to Evie. Yeah. Uh, so my shout out. We've done a shout out to Arby's before, but I'm doing something specific about it this time. Arby's on the second day. <laughs> Because we went to Arby's yesterday. So I need to find some sort of, like, like shitty-looking Arby's sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. Uh, they don't exist, I'm sorry. There's no shitty-looking Arby's sandwich. Yeah, because Arby's is amazing. It's Just a bit too expensive. Yeah, that too. And takes a bit too long to get food. And then they ask you, have you paid, like, three times? Because they keep forgetting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got some Arby's yesterday. I got a whole bunch of the beef and cheddars and I had one this morning the second day and oh my god it was fan fucking tastic it was exactly what I needed for breakfast yeah I I got one um and then got burnt and then I ate it and oh my god yeah <laughs> Barbies is fantastic yeah so I wish that we had one a little bit closer to us yeah the one right now is like 15 minutes away yeah through traffic which is ridiculous. Yeah, That's way that. too far to go for human meals. Yeah, fuck that. Just go to Smash Burger. Yeah, Smash Burger is pretty good. That's not the same. It's not the roast beef. Right. Is it weird that I prefer Arby's roast beef to, like, actual roast beef? No. Okay, because it's, like, way better. But okay, yeah, that's pretty much all we got. Yeah, alright. See you guys next time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Let it play us.